Hey, Creative Sense team, I want to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice badge for shower curtain sets by Creative Sense. I know how competitive the category can be on Amazon, so to see a Choice badge is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module, which you have for this listing, but you're not using it, and it takes up valuable real estate. In addition to a few other things I noticed, my name is Sean, and I'm an account executive with my Amazon guy. So listen, I'll pack this full of valuable information designed to help grow sales. I'll show you the module in just a minute, but the first thing I want to review are keywords. Now we utilize this tool to look at sponsored and organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things. And looking here, it shows you've got 563 sponsored, 3,200 organic keywords. Um, now, I'm curious when you updated your keywords last, I did notice that you've got some really highly searched, low ranking sponsored keywords. And I'm curious if you're getting uh, your return on that. Um, also, we recommend a one to two ratio in the category. So for every one sponsored, you have two organic. But let's look and see how you're performing. As we scroll down, I want you to notice that I sorted the keywords by the most frequently searched. And this is what I mean. Well done with your sponsored rank there. I'm curious, though, are you getting the ROI on that? Um, so over here are the searched keywords and then your sponsored rank is here and your organic rank is here. Now, as we scroll down, look at your organic rank. A lot of your ranks are in triple digits. So think about that. Um, think about, you know, if someone's looking for cute shower curtains, they have to scroll through with their mouse or their phone 289 other organic listings in addition to all of the sponsored ads that they see as well. So you've got to think that's really deep within the search results. So I would certainly improve your organic keywords. Also too, if you're not indexing, that's room for more exposure that you could get. Even you know organically, I think you'd benefit from indexing for more words. Now let's put this into context a little bit in terms of how deep you are within the ranks and what this means in terms of revenue. So modern shower curtains, you are organically ranked 48. And there are 6,800 people looking for that on the Amazon US marketplace just this month. Um, so people will have to go through all of the you know sponsored listings and 47 other organic listings before they find you for the words modern shower curtains. And look how much revenue has been earned by sellers in the past 30 days because they're indexing for these words. Now, the good news is you have been one of those sellers. You've earned over $33,000 as a result of this. But I want to show you something. There are sellers that are earning 10 times that or 20 times that. So there's definitely room for more improvement on your keywords. I would ask yourself if that rank is well enough, but when you see the dollars that these sellers are getting, you should know the answer to that. Um, now coming over here, let's talk about competition. So I took the words white fabric shower curtain from your listing and found this one here. Now I'm not doing any product comparisons. What I wanna show you is really interesting, their advertising plan. So they've got 215 sponsor keywords, 3,100 organic keywords. So they've actually got half of the, less than half of the sponsor keywords that, that you have. So they're spending less. Um, their rank is really, uh, they've done a good job with their organics. And because of that, they are getting, they're selling more. I mean, they're spending less on advertising and they're selling more. They have sold 2,700 units in the past 30 days. So they've pretty much doubled your sales. So something to think about there. Now let's, uh, and, and when we look at our competition, we look at 10 competitors to do a keyword gap analysis. You want to make sure that you do that regularly. Now uh, let's talk about our SEO process. Here at my Amazon guy, we break up our organic or SEO process into three phases excuse me, four phases. And in phase three, we look at those keywords where you're ranked in spots 20 through 50. Right now you've got, wow, 628 of them. And because of that, you're really not benefiting from that organic traffic. So our focus through our SEO process would be to lift you up in the ranks so that instead of being in spot 40 for shower curtain or 45 for shower curtain set, we'd have you in the top 10. 
And if you're not having to sponsor those words, imagine the impact on your ACOS. So don't forget, it is the words that gets your listing above everybody else's in the search results. So let's go through your listing here. I want to go through your images real quick. Well, I wish you had some color <laughs> in your images and a person. You need a human being. Who is your demographic? I do like this picture. This is the one picture where we see it kind of in a setting and a lifestyle image. But I do think you need to have another one. Um, I like your infographics. Those are good. Um, but I would add a lifestyle picture and video to this too as well. Your title, you want to be as close to 200 characters. You're at 176, so you've got a little room. Um, so with your title and your bullet points, this is something to think about. Amazon comes here for your organic keywords, and they update their A9 algorithm multiple times throughout the year. So how often are you updating your bullets, right, and integrating those frequently used words? So each bullet should be 250 characters. Your title should be closer to 200. This is going to help you grow your organics. Now, let me show you that module. So if you do anything today, please log into Seller Central. Right above product description, you'll see a brand story. That's where you can put the Creative Sense logo. Talk about how you got your start, why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. So it comes underneath all these sponsored ads. It's included. Your brand registered. You're just not using it. This is a sample. Actually, this is live. We put this together for a brand age of Sage. It's our owner's brand. And you see how it's a carousel. It fills up the entire screen. And you can have a ton of hyperlinks to noteworthy products. This crawlable text index is for organic traffic. It's absolutely the best module that Amazon has come up with for register or excuse me, brand registered sellers in a very long time. So I do recommend setting it up. Also having A plus content does um, help increase your average order value if you have a product grid and oftentimes can be the deciding factor between someone choosing you or your competition. So listen, here at my Amazon guy, we're a full service Amazon agency and we grow sales on Amazon. We manage over 300 brands, giving our clients peace of mind, knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. I love an opportunity to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks very much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.